Okay, so today's math topic is logarithms. And I know I haven't uploaded a math video in a while or any video, but it's I think it's nice to make a comeback with some math. So, the most basic formula you will use in logarithm is b to the power x equals y. It's basically the uh it's basically the exponent um form but you just switch the places up. So b as in any number to, to the power of x, which is the thing you're trying to find it when you're solving for for a log function, equals y, which is the answer. So, so we can, in log form this would be log base to y equals x. Now we're trying to find what what the power is or what the exponent is. That's what log is all about. Okay, so let's start with something easy. 2 to the power, 2 to the 5th equals 32. If you would want to write this in log form, let's for, so 2 is b, 5 is x, and 32 is y. So, if you would write this in log form, log, so what's b? b, in this case, is 2. It, that's the base, basically. And then this is to the power of 5. And what is 5 here? 5 is the exponent. But we don't know that yet. So we have to write 32 because in this case it's y. And y there. And then equals. We don't know that. But if with common sense we would know that 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So we write 5 here. Okay, now a few other things to note about log. If there is no base noted then you should know that the standard is 10. So no base equals 10. Come on, focus. Yeah, so no base equals 10. Okay, so one really important thing is any number, any number to the, like any log to the base of itself. So log a to the a, log base a to the a is one log a to the base a, I don't know how to say it, but it's always one. Likewise, if any log has, if, if it's log one, then it'll always be zero no matter what. Okay, now let's get into some deeper concepts. So if you have any lo log function with an exponent, like an exponent for the function, then you can rewrite it like this, log to the base five, then 6. I, this is just another way to rewrite it. So these two are the same thing. You can move the exponent to the beginning. Okay, so now suppose we have a log of a fraction. So 4, 5, 5. And let's say to the base 2. It doesn't really matter. But the point is that if you have any fraction like this, you can always separate it by subtraction. So this would actually be log a log 4 to the base 2 subtracted by log 5 to the base 2 so this is the this is what the function looks like now likewise if you have a log uh, expression like log 3 plus log 5 it'll get multiplied and become log 15 okay now let's try to condense some log expressions so we have 2 log 3 plus 3 log 2. First thing I um first thing I realize is that there is there is no base. So that means it's just base 10. We don't have to worry about that. So second thing I notice is that there's an uh, there's a 2 and a 3 in front of each log. So that means that that's actually the exponent. So 3 3 to the power 2 3 squared is 9. So it's actually log 9 plus 3 2 cubed is 8 so log 8 now we can actually like i pro i think you know by now but we can actually condense this more it'll be log 9 times 8 which is 72 log 72 it's, it's actually that easy look at this question this problem really closely if you can see it this is 1 over 5 and this is 5 and it'll be negative 1 because 5 to the power of negative 1 is just 1 over 5 
So any log function with the base that has the number as a denominator will always have negative 1 as the answer. That is only if it stays the same and it just gets now, flipped. Now if you have happened to be given a problem like this where it, both sides of the equation have the same base but they have variables on both sides so what you do just forget about the log for a moment and concentrate on what the two um, expressions are. Now if you isolate them 4x plus 6 plus 6 equals 8x minus 2 you can solve it like a regular equation just bring it, subtract 6 on both sides bring bring the variables to one side which which gives you negative 4x plus no I mean negative 4x equals negative 8 and then you can determine that x equals 2 and then these are pretty easy so so far log seems pretty easy. Now since we sort of got the basics down, let's look into a theory and how we can prove it. This is a theory that's, th this is the, um, like the rule that states that log x times y to the base a equals log x to the base a plus log y to the base a. Now, this is pretty easy to prove only if you, um, if you notice every single element and what the things I'm going to be okay, adding. Okay, so first let's write each of these in exponent form. So x equals a to the power m and y, the y over here, y equals a to the power n. Next step is to multiply these two. So a to the power m times a to the power n. And now we all know the power the two properties of exponents that it'll be a m plus n because when you multiply an exponent with the same base they always get so, added. So far we have x y equals a to the power m plus n. Now if we would take log on both sides yeah, we log get log a x times y equals log base a and another a m plus n now using a previous property we can note that the m plus n can move it f move in front so m plus n then log base a to the a is basically just one so we can cancel this out so log x times y base a is equal to m plus n. And now if you look at the original values of m and n, you can see that log a x y is equal to this and this log plus log a y. Sorry guys, it's really hard to hold my camera with my right hand. So that was proving one of the properties. And that is it for log for today and I'll I'll start part 2 tomorrow I think. Before we end this video officially, let's do three super easy um questions to test your understanding. Log 16 to the base 4. This one's really easy. I'll give you a second to do it. I'm pretty sure most of you got it. It's 2 because 4 squared is 16. That's all. Now then this one is log 0 0.01 to the base 10. This might look confusing, but it's actually really simple. When you multiply something by a negative exponent, the number goes to the, no the, the denominator and it is, on it is below a 1. And 1 over 100 is the same thing as 0 0.01. So this is negative 2. So what I do is convert everything to exponent form because it's much easier to understand in the beginning, but then you get used to seeing this. Okay, log 7 cubed to the base 7. Now, what I would do normally is... Now this, you might need a calculator, but but I know the answer, I know the is, answer is just 3 because if you move, if you move the 3 to the beginning, it becomes log 377 and then you can just ignore this you can cancel it out because 
uh, log seven to the base seven is just one, so just you just left with three log, and the answer is three. So that's all. Okay, bye.